Hey, this is Chris from Sinti Studios, and today I'm here with the Polygon Nature Biomes Tropical Jungle Pack, and we'll be looking at how to set up some underwater effects in your scene. So I've imported the Nature Biomes Pack, as well as the Polygon Pirates Pack, as I'm using a few props underwater. First thing we want to do is head to Window, Package Manager, under Unity Registry, if we look for post processing, and we'll install this into our project. I've set up a couple of post-processing profiles. I have one here for the surface and one for the water. And I've just grabbed them out of the Nature Biomes Tropical Jungle folder, taken the existing day profile and just duplicated that out, renamed them and put them here ready to use. Also set up a water effects game object and underneath that I've put all the effects that I want for when we go into the water. Another part of the water effects game object is the water plane, which I've duplicated from the water above lowered it a fraction and then rotated it at 180 degrees so when you go into the water the water effects game object is enabled including the water so my effects will be driven by the camera in this example so i've just set up the box collider and the rigid body as part of my camera so when that goes into the water the effect will kick in so we'll just set up a new layer for the profiles we had to add layer and we'll just call this post then on our camera we'll add a new component a post processing layer. Now under layers we'll select post and then we'll set anti-aliasing to fast. Now we want to set up a volume for the post processing for above the water and another one for underneath the water. So we'll do this by setting up a 3D object cube just to make it a bit more visual and this one we'll call surface and we'll duplicate that and call that underwater. So we'll start with the surface one. We'll get it to a nice spot just above the water and big enough for us to collide with. So that's the one for above the water. You can see it kind of just stops right above the water. So now we'll do the underwater one. Back on the surface game object, we'll go add component and we want to add a post processing volume. For the profile, we'll add the surface profile. And the blend distance, we'll set this to 0.5. We'll do the same for underwater. Post processing volume. And we'll add our underwater profile. And then like before, our blend distance, we'll set this to 0.5. Now for both our underwater and our surface game objects, we can disable the mesh renderer. So these two profiles here for our post processing are just based off of what came with the pack. The only change that we need to make is the underwater profile. Under color grading, we'll just set this to a nice blue. Then with our surface and our underwater game objects, on the box collider we'll enable is trigger, and for the layer we'll set these to post. So the last thing I want to implement just to make this really pop is a bit of fog for underwater. So if we head to window, rendering, lighting, under environment, just enable fog, change this to linear, and we'll have start as zero and end as 50. And I've just got a nice shade of blue here. So now if we move our camera up and down, you can see underwater looks really nice, above water not so much. So we want the fog for underwater but not above the water. The way we'll get around that is when we enter the water trigger, we'll enable the fog. When we exit, we'll disable the fog. So on our underwater game object, which has our box collider, which is a trigger, we'll add a new script and we'll call this underwater effects. And we'll open that up and we can get rid of all of this. So the first thing we want to do is pass our water effects game object to the script. Then we'll want an on-trigger enter and an on-trigger exit. On-trigger enter will enable the water effects and the on-trigger exit will disable them. And then the same with the fog. When we enter the trigger we'll enable the fog and then when we exit we'll disable it. So we'll save the script, close that down. And we'll assign the water effects to the script. And back on the lighting tab under environment we'll make sure our fog is disabled by default. So then when we hit play you can see when we go under the water all of our effects, including the fog, are enabled, and when we exit, they're all turned off. I hope you found the tutorial useful. If there is anything specific that you want to see more of, then let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of our newest videos, or check out our community Discord. The link is in the description.